Who's a good boy? Is it good boy biscuit? Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. And welcome to the illustrious fluffy boy biscuit who is still shedding. I'm surprised it's taking this long. I've brushed him nine times and each time an entire new biscuit is produced. And my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. <laughs> I am ravaged today with the plague. You might be able to hear it in my voice. I can feel like a cold is just about to grasp at my soul for the next three to four working days, which might be a week, depending on where you work. <laughs> She's dead. So, my lovelies, how have we all been? How are you all doing? It's very nice here in the studio today. Our heat wave has passed, so I can once again wear nice clothes without fear of melting. I'm melting! I'm melting! Today, my lovelies, we are watching episode nine of cycle three of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. And let me just tell you, the last episode was quite shocking. Takara was eliminated, there was a tarantula, and also some overt racism from the, like, invited stylist. There was so much that happened in the last episode that I actually feel like it's most appropriate to do two top comments from the last episode. Can you believe it, my loves? I want to talk to the manager, girl. The first one is by DJ Anime 317 and they say, I think the scariest thing about this episode isn't the tarantula, it's Tyra defending that stylist for racist and quite frankly audacious comments she made and the fact that she said to Yaya, apologize to the hat. I mean, what, what more can be said than that? It was utterly ridiculous. I do feel like someone should be able to say that's a poor quality product made in like an inferior copy of my cultural heritage. You should be able to say that. But I can also see from the other point of view that sometimes egos are very fragile. And when somebody is seen to be criticizing a creation of yours, even though the creation might be inferior, the reaction is that, oh my God, well you're blacklisted from the industry because you criticized my plastic hat. I don't want that. It's funny how everyone tells these models to grow a thicker skin, this is the industry, cope. But then as soon as someone says, actually, I think that's in bad taste, they're like, oh my God, can't believe you'd say that. What, do you ever want to work in the industry again? Unhinged, isn't it, Biscuit? It's completely unhinged behavior. The second top comment from the last episode that I want to talk about is by Black Horse Love One, and they say, coming in with a slightly different perspective for the tarantula shoot, it was also very unethical to place tarantulas on terrified models because they are so fragile. Now, I actually didn't know this, but I did mention in the last episode that I thought they were. I didn't think that, you know, like tarantulas can't survive a drop from like a human height. A fall from any substantial height can gravely injure them. That's why I dislike videos of people forcing their really scared friends who aren't voluntarily trying to get over their fears into holding tarantulas. Say what you will about them. This is also coming from a recovering arachnophobe. The tarantulas didn't deserve to be put into that dangerous situation as much as the model shouldn't have been pushed past their boundaries. Completely agree. Completely agree. Also, I remember reading that like when tarantulas are frightened, they leave like fibers, like body fibers behind, which can like go into your skin. So I don't know what the producers were thinking of in that photo shoot because nobody won. The tarantulas didn't win. The models didn't win. Maybe Jay Manuel did because he was like, ah, grow up. Anyway, my lovelies, that's enough about the last episode. Why don't we strap in today, my lovelies, or biscuit. <laughs> Why don't we strap in today, my lovelies? I am on the Monster Energy Ultra Rosa today. It tastes like rose and it's delicious. I think there's a vanilla in it as well. Oh, did you want to get the cold liquid? Well, I'm sorry, you can't have any caffeine. Why, I want to go buzz buzz, bitch. Pop in your ohringer, right into your little scandal hole and let's watch America's Next Top Scandal Girls, Cycle 3, Episode 9. We're getting on. We're getting on through this series, my loves. Six girls remain. Six girls Ooh, remain, we'll girls. Where are they gonna go? What's gonna happen next? Will Nicole ever say a sentence again? The prophecy is true. Anne, Annabelle, Kathy, Casabel, Yaya, Yaya Bell, Narelle. Oh, well, that didn't work, did it? No. Right, okay, what we've got? Nicole, oh, dead now. Nikelly, oh, gone forever. Oh, forever, gone, but, and gondola. Bananas. Oh, it's gonna be an episode today, girl. Amanda, girl. Can you see that? Yes, you can. I need to put it here. Tara, woman on the go. Oh, into the lake. Up now, America's woman. I wanted to get 
college, what is it? Yeah, collagen. I want to my get pins. top look is so small. Puny. No, it's good though. Remember? I always wanted your shoulders, like just no shoulders. Like. Everybody focuses on their flaw as their favorite thing. Like I love really thin thighs because I don't have them. Shirts like this make my shoulders look big. Panel, they've said all along you have potential, but they've liked maybe two of my pictures. I've been in the bottom two, three times. What's happening? Is there some sort of like, oh, I don't like your thighs, but I love mine, but I don't like my shoulders. So, and then we have, we've got like a shot of Yaya being like, just dancing. Therefore, is production gonna be like, oh, Yaya doesn't agree with any of this because Yaya thinks she's better than everyone. Is that where we're going? Yes, no, maybe. Oh, I'm getting a vibe, girls. Ah. Being in the bottom two does bring you down. Yes. Uh, Maybe it's that farmer's hat. Oh, where do you come from? <laughs> there are times when you're so quiet. And when they told you to have personality, I was like, or whatever they said in panel, we don't see your personality. I'm like, panel is not the place for me to go in and act like a tart. No, you know, a tart. <laughs> As for me not having a personality, just because it's not. Do you know what I forget is that slurs were so easily thrown around like that. Like, I do not agree with the R slur being used in any way, shape or form really ever. It was a, an outdated medical diagnosis that seems very odd to be hearing now. I mean, obviously I'm listening to this with 2023 vision and 2023 ears, but I don't think I've ever really used the word, the R word as like a, I don't think it was ever in my vocabulary, even as like a teenager trying to be quirky. I don't know, maybe it's a bit more of an Americanism, but still a bit jarring to hear, isn't it? I don't agree. For me not having a personality, just because it's not oh, in front of the everybody matrix. all the time doesn't mean it's not there. I don't want to just lay it all out on the table and let people pick away at it. Compared to some of the girls, I feel more confident, but I'm I'm not braggy. It's so important Ooh. to still be able to interact with the other girls because it's- Do you know, so far we've had three shots of Amanda and each time she's eating, what are they trying to say? What is production and the editing floor trying to say about Amanda? What? It's easy to sit back and get big headed. Right, oh, here we go, girls, a taxi. Right, what's the Prepare take? to die. Be ready at night. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> She's dead. I wish I hadn't taken some drink then. Peace. Prepare to die. Death. Well, I just can't wait to see how this turns out. Oh, I can't breathe. Prepare to die. Be ready at 9.15 a.m. Right, okay. Solitaire. The electric chair. Prepare to die. Oh dear. Gas. Oh look, there's heaven, because you can, you're, you're gonna go today. Blah, 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 blah. Into the jeeps, quickly everybody. So we just got a tire mouth that says, prepare to die. I was nervous, I like because called. you never know. Welcome, girls. Come on down this way. Oh, dear. What's all Welcome this? Welcome to Sandy Shuren Acting Studio. I'm Sandy Shuren. Today, we're going to be teaching you about acting. We didn't think we were really going to die. It did turn out to be acting. Specifically, oh, what a surprise. I'm glad debate. the ethics committee kicked in and said we can't actually murder these models. Hooray! Everyone's a winner. Being acting technique. Right. For me, it's like, yes, I want to model, but maybe I can take an acting class and see if I can do that too. I've worked with a lot of models that have crossed over into acting. I was pretty excited about that because I've studied method acting before when I was in theater. What we're going to do now the theater. is an, an exercise oh, Ash called Ketchum. accessing the emotional body. The emotional body. We're like, huh? I have never done acting before. The only acting I do is my own personality. Like, I live in my own world. I'm my own actress. So one hand on the Ooh, heart. Oh, is that behind the magic? the solar plexus. Right. And allow your creative self to come foreground. So <laughs> Which may sound a little airy-fairy. Airy-fairy? The best kind right. of fairies so are the airy ones. For you? What do you see in your mind's what eye? You I see the yeah. ocean, bird. Amanda, what do you see? Roses and rain. I seriously was so lost. It's like a weird thing to do. Some of you might be crying. That's just natural. When I closed my eyes, I saw like a, a rose. And when I saw my son's face, <laughs> What do you see there? Keep breathing. You see blank? 
first thing I saw was not appropriate, so I had to just say I didn't see anything. Now, a picture of you as a child doing something. So we're like, OK, is this it? This of course, this is not it. So you are up to a bit. I'm sorry, what was that? Was this accessing the emotional inner being of your soul? And then it's just like sobbing and penises, apparently. Delicious. Definitely is turning into America's Next Top Scandal Girls. Big challenge now. All right, the then challenge. Then there is a hospital bed. Right. Oh, gosh, prepare to die. Doom. I'm sorry, but I am not a good dyer. Next phase. I'm going to give you a scene to do. Scene. I was like, I got this one. You and know, I played scene. Lady Macbeth in high school. <laughs> you are going to be reading with a very well-respected and well-known actor, someone that you will recognize. Oh, dear. New PN's new Manuel. hit show, oh, Kevin oh, Hill. Oh, Tay oh, Dick. Oh, Hello. Oh, oh, do I, I haven't seen his face yet. Do I recognize him? Here's what we're gonna do. You. Do I know this man? Tay Diggs. No, I don't know. I'm going to start first, Diva. No. Diva! Yes, yes, yes. Once again, I am first. Yes. What it Time was, to I die. was a woman dying of an illness. And right. I had a couple minutes to express my feelings to my lover. <laughs> JD, it's me, Brad. Brad, I'm dying. No. No, you're not. I just spoke with the doctor. He said you're gonna pull through. If you haven't forgotten, I am a doctor. And the prognosis for a reconstructive cardiomyopathy with all these Oh, as if. It's hardly possible. Oh, as if, as if, as if, my loves. As if, as if, as if. This, what is this, Holly Hoomst? Die. I've got subventricular filling in early diastole. <laughs> I've got systolic ventricular filling in my diastole. The prognosis for <sighs> there is these. This is this is this is ridiculous. Like you would also be able to read your script before acting. Like you just would. So this is quite clearly just look at these dumb models. They can't read science words. <laughs> Oh, no, there was these words. Dead now. I had this disease, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I couldn't read it if my life depended on it. Well, I'm not gonna give up. I can't. So, do you know what? Sometimes I have had scripts come across my desk for when I have to do some sort of like, I don't know, reading section for anything here. I've had the words that I've needed to say spelt out phonetically because you can't tell the difference. Instead of making the model's jobs easier, they've made them harder and gone, well, you didn't make the bar, did you? Time to bleed. <laughs> That's why I love you so much. I was just so excited to be in the Dead. same space with him as a non-actress. Remember last spring in Paris? <sighs> How could I forget? <laughs> we strolled down the Champs Elysees. We strolled down the Champs Elysees. We strolled. We strolled down the park. Do you remember what happened? Oh, she the just went. Huh? Was hilarious. Not only was it over the top, but the vocabulary that they had to use, along with the French, was just uh, it was bananas. It started raining. Yeah. So the, really even light. the actor is like, this is clearly a ridiculous concept. It started raining really lightly. Bananas. And then I kiss you. And in those moments in Paris, are the ones that have gotten me through these last few days. Julia, I love you. I love you. I was like, oh my goodness, that's Tay Diggs. Ooh, he's cute. Oh. Julian. Bradley. Are you hot? They're coming. Who's coming, baby? They're coming. They're coming. Who's coming, baby? Who? The angels. Nurse! Julia. And you died in your favorite shoes. A hideous shoe to die in. Goodbye, baby. Now you don't have what? any more pain. I'm sorry, your, your partner would do, not just be like, oh, time to put the blanket over you now. Like, that's none, this is not, no. No, you don't have any more pain. My baby's gone away with the angels. I, I can't I bear really to good. look at you any longer. I'm going to steal your shoes. I died ah! and then moved. Julia, you're alive. You're alive. Satan. Jesus was seen. You scared me, I thought you died. Julia, that's a cruel trick. That's a cruel trick, Julia. Thank you. What? I need to remember when you die, you don't move. What? 
can I have the girls? Can the girls come in here? Give there yourself a show. Sure. Give yourself a The first right. one was Eva. Eva. You blew Eva. past some of the words, but you still stayed in it. They did their first scene with Tay Diggs, and he's a great actor. Norell, even though she's a beginner, she has a certain quality that people would want to see. Let's go over to Anne now. Tay. You had good projection, but try to keep it more conversational. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she very was very like, I am going to die so now. You were sick throughout. I thought you had a really good build. Amanda. Just be a little bit more connected in that you died twice. <laughs> So I think we have a winner. Yeah, yeah. She forgot Nicole. I seriously was like, <gasps> Nicole. Do we have yes. Nicole? Nicole. Ouch. Oh, that's not good. I thought you were very sensitive, very, very, which is a great thing. And we have so. a winner now. Instead of telling you, watch that screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, girl. <laughs> also, imagine them forgetting Nicole. I think throughout this entire series, we've said, oh my gosh, all they're doing is forgetting Nicole in every sentence. She's been really like edited out of this entire season. So, uh, I don't know what we're gonna see. What are we gonna see? Poor Nicole, how awful would that be? I would be so irate if I'd joined this competition show to get exposure to become like a supermodel of the world, girls. And they're just like, no, you get one sentence every three episodes. I'd be like, oh. Why? <laughs> so Yaya wins again. Nurse! Oh dear. But, oh, oh, Tyra Hunt. Nurse, what am I gonna do without my baby? I think you might wanna take a look at her chart. Before I look at her chart, can I have a hug? <laughs> What's going on with this chart? Is this live or is this? Okay, it says here, you've taken your class, You've been challenged by me, but now it's time to act for TV. It's not gonna be easy. You'll be on the go. So on the go, a woman on the go. Because you're going to Tokyo. <gasps> oh, it's the one where they go to Tokyo. I forgot oh about that. God, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. You'll have to put up with me looking like an egg for the next 20 minutes. Not believe, like, it's one of the fashion capitals of the world. Like, the world, Tokyo. girls. They have it the is, illest, true. sickest style there is. They the do. winner of this has an amazing prize. You will be flying to Tokyo in luxury class. Ooh. And you have to choose one of these girls. Luxury uh, class. Is that first and class? The rest will is that just like premium economy? In coach for 13 hours. Amanda, would you like to accompany me? <laughs> this is my fourth consecutive win, so I picked Nicole She's very so pleased. It was Amanda's turn. So, Best of luck. Best Amanda's hair looks a lot better in this episode. I don't know who's done what to her, but but the blonde matches a lot better than ever before. All right, all right, y'all. Tokyo! Kind of speechless, because I've never been to Tokyo, and Tokyo's it's going to be insane. Yeah. Going from America to Tokyo is also like a cost as well. Oh, it's old, oh, oh, level one. Oh, it's the end of the series. A Blair. That's what that song is. What's this? UPN.com, the only place to see all of the top model photo shoots. Time to pack up the little snacks, ladies. You're coming to Tokyo. America's Next Top Pigeon. I'm nervous about the whole Tokyo situation. I hear that, the, I don't know what to call them. Japanese people is from Tokyo or Tokians or <laughs> I don't want to fly. I'm really scared. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. I mean, wow. I don't even know what to say about that. But I am going to comment on the fact that after that they put a gong sound. Sure. <laughs> I don't want to fly. I'm like, what really was that scared. needed for? I don't like flying and I did have a nervous breakdown on the way to Jamaica. Oh There's my no god, yeah, really two holidays in one! Yes. Oh, Anne. How is Anne going to be a model if, she's, if, she, if this happens every time she has to get on an airplane? I don't understand. So what more did you ask for? But being in luxury class is definitely, definitely it's the, the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. We're going to be positive making it to Tokyo together, baby. And hopefully one of us makes it to number one and hopefully it's us three. So all I gotta say is we gotta promise not to get bitchy. No, I don't care. I don't think we have a one though. It's all three of us that are like pink positive bond, and we all try to help each other. Oh, 
testing positive. No bitchiness? What does that mean? For what? They told me I was in luxury class. When we check in to the American Airlines flight to Tokyo, we realize we really are going to be in totally separate sections of the plane. So they are in first class, okay. Is that first class? I thought first class had like individual pods. Maybe not. Maybe it's different for each sort of airline. I don't know. Is that, that doesn't look, is that first? Mm. So in first class, you get a tiramisu. <laughs> oh, here we go. Lots of Tyra Banks propaganda girls in first class. Right, so what you do in first class is just giggle all the way to Tokyo! <laughs> oh, that, yeah, when that crossing is flight, infamous. I was really it? relieved. My parents can be so proud of me. I fell asleep and then I was fine. Yay! It was such a long flight, we had to change clothes. It was a really long flight. Hello! And here we come, go. Oh, how exciting. Yes. You're also welcome. It's a beautiful country. You enjoy it. You just flood into Tokyo. Look at all the buildings. It's just like New York. It's crowded and very hot. Like New York looks like Hodong next to Tokyo. We're driving and we stop at this shrine. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I would love wow. to go to Japan. Oh. Can't go with any tattoos out, though, girl. Hey. Oh, look who it is. Hello. Konnichiwa. Oh, that's quite a Konnichiwa. cute outfit. I brought you here because I want you to experience the most avant-garde fashion capital of the world. It's also important for models to know different cultures. Tokyo is home to some of the top fashion designers <laughs> of the world. Two of them being Issey Miyake oh, yes. and Yoji Yamamoto. Yes, Today you guys are I love Yoji Yamamoto's creations. They are gorgeous and they're quite often jet black. Very appropriate. I do not, however, own a single piece because it's currently out of my price range. Today you guys are at the Sano Shrine. This place is over 500 years old. Oh, it's from the feudal a era. It's called Temezusha. It's a purification of yourself before you ask for protection, prosperity, and good fortune from the gods. Oh. After Temezusha, you're supposed to clap your hands twice and then bow. Welcome to Tokyo! Oh, that's kind of sweet. I quite like that. I definitely appreciate the culture. I think it's beautiful. And for me to be able to experience this and become more well-rounded as a person, I love it. So this is definitely a touristy area. Welcome to the service. Hello, Kitty. <gasps> I was so that... excited because was that Hello, was like, Kitty? Hello Kitty here. Was that Hello Kitty? I think that was just a lucky cat. <gasps> I was so excited because there's like Hello Kitty here, which is my favorite. Well, it is a, a world-renowned Japanese brand. You have to take off your shoes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Is it the music? We walk into the hotel. I'm thinking that it's going to be some sort of spa. <laughs> oh, it's a pod hotel. Oh, are these are our beds. Is that our yes. house? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> what is this place? Is this our house? This is our hotel. Yeah. So, I would say I, I'm, I'm a bit of a luxury slut. <laughs> I love to have like space to move around, but I would 100% do maybe like one or two nights in a pod hotel just for the experience. To have like a whole modeling competition from a pod hotel. Oh, I just don't, I just don't know. Stop it, make me embarrassed. Stop, no, say. Deranged. Holy Can't be any slut behavior hotel. in there, Is madam. Hotel of capsules. Basically a coffin sized, um, cubicle. Is this our it's, bed? This is our it's house? Like, it's yes, kind of a like a really condensed YMCA. This is our house. Our luggage is in there and there's a community bathroom. This is so our house. Oh. Can you fit in the back? Well, I always want a bunk bed. Really? I never had a sister. Pink positive. Before you get into your bed. For 
have oh. something for you from Tyra. Really? Yes. This is for their entire stay here. How long have they got? They've got like five episodes left. I don't think so. Okay. Where are we? Is that home? Someone's <laughs> playing something you made. What the hell is that say? Uh, We're ready to leave in 30 minutes. Oh! 30 minutes, girl. Just checked in. Time to check this out. This gorgeous place with the lake. There are trees everywhere. Oh, beautiful. And when you get to the entranceway, there's Jane. Oh, Mango. look! A pet gay. You guys don't look so worse for the wear. I know it's a long flight to this part of the world. Again, it's top models. It's all on the same day. They fly and they gotta go straight to work. I know this is difficult, but this is the real world. So the other day, you guys learned about acting. So today, we're gonna put your skills to the test and you guys are gonna have to do a cold read for a commercial for Campbell's Select Soups. Now, of course, we're here in Tokyo, Japan. Isn't Campbell's Soup like a traditionally American brand? What? I wonder why they've been like, fly to Japan, soup. <laughs> sure, do you know what? I've, I've beyond the point of questioning the uh, technicalities, shall we say? of America's Next Top Model. My brain today, my lovelies, this is gonna be a struggle bus the entire day. I've got, you know, I've got, I've got a really important, like, adult lady meeting later. <laughs> so, no, it's not like that. It's actually a meeting with a lawyer. And I'm like, do you know what? I need to be in like, on top form. I need to be able to speak. And I'm just like, it's not the day, girls. So, you girls are going to do this commercial in Japanese. Oh, oh no. Oh. And you want me to speak Japanese? Yeah. I'm actually going to introduce you guys to a very well known, very respected, prominent commercial director here. His name is Mr. Zenta Yoshi, and okay. um, he does not speak any English. So he. Oh, are we going to hear some like. Do we have anyone from the South left? Like Southern, Southern American accent speaking Japanese is it's it's a it's a ride I can tell you that we'll be working with an interpreter Mr. Yoshi speaks no English but will direct us through this commercial that we will do in Japanese. Yes. I'm afraid I can speak English. So now uh, I'm going to explain you the, the concept of the commercial of the campus soup. All the models are very busy and then no time to to attention to this food. The translator is kind of like, yeah, yeah, I speak English. <laughs> kind of. So you guys have got 30 Ooh, minutes. Oh, I do sort of agree there. I don't know. Is it offensive to say that? This translator doesn't seem to be the most fluent, should we say, which isn't really, you know, there's going to be different levels of skills to understanding languages. Of course there is. I mean, I can basically speak one language and sort of understand French and Spanish and German very minimally. I could never be a translator for any of those languages. But I feel like and having a concept explained to you is kind of important. But also, did you hear the concept there? I think I said this in a couple of videos ago. There's going to be an aspect of like, this model is so busy, she can't pay attention to her diet. So what does she have? Soup. It's gonna be exactly like a little while ago when I said about those yogurts that are like, this woman's so busy on the go with her work, job, family, hobbies, that all she can have is yogurt. She's just constantly on the go. That's what we're gonna get today, isn't it? Yes. So you guys have got 30 minutes to do your commercial once through perfectly. Okay, well that would never happen in Also, uh, expect you to speak very fluent Japanese. Okay. I don't speak Japanese. No. Always on the go, always on the game. Soup. Oh, the stress. I don't think I could do this after being on a flight for what, 13 hours? Was it 30? Did they say 13 hour flight? And then just be like, right, time to be on camera and speak a language you don't know. Goodbye. I'd be like, oh, what is this horrible fever dream? Kind of feels like I'm doing that right now. Konnichiwa. There she isn't. Matthew I've Anderspar. been listening to people since I got off the plane and hopefully I can imitate it and not embarrass myself too much. I'm just <laughs> trying to it, remember what I've read. You have to imitate like, without over mocking. and over it. Well, you have two cards. The concept is 
Beautiful Japanese garden and it feels very relaxing, like chill out. That's the concept? That's not a... Chilling out in the garden eating soup. Is that a concept of a woman who's always on the go, very busy, can't pay attention to her food? So she's chilling out in the garden having soup. That's a stretch for a concept, but sure, let's go. Which one is that? What does she have? What soup is that? And soup says oishi. Oishi. Hold the can like this and start the after you hear the start, you can start. What start in Japanese? Start. Uh, start. Oh, okay, you say start. Okay, okay sorry. Yoi! Start. Oishi. Top model wa watashi tashi ga shokuji wa tegoro de oishiku. Oh, difficult, Campbell difficult. Select. Lemon, difficult. Select the best from Campbell. Oh, okay. immediate. Top. 10 out of 10. Give Go. you a script. Give you 30 minutes to read it and put you in a kimono bright makeup and tell you to execute. Wrong. Stop. Action. Hoishi. Tapumalo wa isumo isugashi. Takara sakuji. This is very common, actually, to have, like, American celebrities advertising products in Asia. It's so, 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 so common. We saw it with, was it, uh, who's the guy who played Loki? Tom Hiddleston? And we also saw it recently with John Cena and... I can't think of another one off the top of my head. But I know that it... Oh, Tom Hiddleston. Did I say that? I think I just said that. My brain, girls! We see it quite often, and it can be quite a jarring little thing to see, but it does certainly happen, so it's not off the mark that they would have to go and speak fluent Japanese to advertise a product. Tugashi. Takara. I do like electric pink blush on the cheekbones. Tekinakisha. It sounds not like Japanese way. Well. Shiziki na think. Not the Takara washi tashi. No, 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 no washi I feel like they were gonna be offended, like Suzuki washi tashi. Like, did I say that? I feel so stupid. How do you say kinko tinki? Kinko tinki. Kinko tinki. Kinko tinki. Oh, difficult, difficult, difficult. She wears her emotions on her face. She's like, oh. Tashi ga aku. Even might be in the bottom. This is bad. Erubono wa Campbell selects. Select the best from Campbell's. Oh. Okay, do it again. Say Nikki Nakeruba. Ubawa. Campbell selects. Select the best from Campbell's. Like you go on a photo shoot and you think you maybe did good, maybe did, but no. I know. I was hard. I failed. Oh, in the bottom. Do your best. Bottom. You have the cue card. Bottom slit. If you need to stop. Oh, look at this. Need to... Vicious hairstyle. Oh, I love it. Tasty. So, so oishi. Topumo duru wa itsumo ishoigashi. Takara shokuji wa tegoro de oishiku. Japanese part is perfect. Oh, clock to the pageant and done it. Even though she was a problem in the last couple of episodes, it became very difficult. But she's acing this. So, what does that mean? Does that mean we? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a piece of string. Oh, everything's a bit much today. Uh, Japanese part is perfect. So I just found out that my own. Oh, they've oh my goodness, they've done her roots and given her a toner. Hooray, girls! Hooray! It's still a level 10 neutral, I would say, but it's not a level 10 piece. I've got a bucket of piss, sweetie! Her acting career in Japan has been null and void. Thank you. Because that was absolutely oh dear, so no. rudely Horrible. Is Anne going to be like, I am actually very like good. This is coming from any challenge at anything ever. If my commercial is like the worst and everything is bad, everybody else is good, I'm most likely going home. I have good pictures. I oh. So hopefully someone would pictures. And they go home. So who would that be, Mira? No swearing aloud. Mira Neural. Clearly not you, Anne. Think what you say before you say No, this was the. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. What was that? So hopefully someone would pictures. Someone would and they go home. So who would that be, Mir Neural? Oh! Mir Neural. Clock! This is the competition Think kicking in, isn't it? No, this was the... I'm sorry. Oh, Eva's like... Eva, I guess, did bad in her. Destabilized. She felt like she did bad, and she's like, I hope Neural bites it. 
conference. I feel like I'm just as close as an as I am to Eva now. <gasps> Anne, please, can we have a conference? Not no, a don't. triangle. No, like, no. Don't, don't Anne, don't. Start. You're fine. Can I talk to you? Do I not let you talk to me when yes. you're feeling like I'm feeling? Can oh, we talk? And I'm like, hey, hey, Eva, hey, you're fine. Hey, in our corner. We have a corner. Oh, Interesting. What an interesting turning of the tar blaze, my loves. Because previously we've seen Eva sort of quite dismissive to Anne, especially if Anne's been like upset about something. Go back to like the second episode, I think, and she was like, if I don't win this, I want you to win this, Eva. <laughs> now we see the tables have turned. The shoe is in the other because Eva's now like, oh, Anne, I need to speak to you. And Anne's like, you know what? You're doing fine. You're doing fine. I need to focus on other things. You're doing fine. Oh, is this a riff? Perhaps has the Reaper come a calling for this friendship? Ah! What do you mean? <laughs> what do you what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What's happening to me? I can do it every single time. It's kind of like the roles kind of just totally switch. Yeah. You hear Eva saying, I really could be going home today. Yeah. And that's normally me. Yeah. yeah. Why? Now, e now Anne has had a problem previously by bringing up um, other potential other people's eating disorders and also generally being a bit unpleasant towards some of the other contestants. Now, I did also say it could be this environment bringing out the worst in everyone because generally competitive environments, brand new people, brand new place, constantly told you're not doing very well, is probably going to bring out some negative aspects of your personality. I think all of us can agree here. But there, did you see that flash across Anne's face of like, Oh, Eva's not doing very well. This could be my moment to be Annabelle. Yeah, I felt that too. American actors and models right, here we are go. constantly asked to fly to foreign countries and speak in another language. <laughs> Today we Stay have to tea. do a commercial for Campbell's Soup. Everything that we have to say is in Japanese except yes. Campbell's Select. I'm definitely more nervous today than I've ever been. Isn't it strange? I also do this, and I don't know if anyone else can like sympathize with this. When you are wait, when you have to hear someone speak and then listen to a translator, I feel so bewildered, helpless, and almost a bit offensive, like listening to someone speak and having no idea what they're saying, but being like, because I still feel like I have to engage in the conversation, even though I have no idea what this person is saying to me. I still feel like I have to be like, and then like look at translator. And then they repeat the same actions. I don't know. It feels very strange. Is that, does anybody else have that? No. No? Period. <laughs> period, girls. Period, ah, uh, period, uh. You're so being rational. Oh, I think she's being no. quite rational. Yes, you did fine. Is everyone like? I was like, are you kidding? That that just came out of your mouth? Would Eva do that to me? Like, would Eva wish that on me? Yes. Go ahead and break a leg. Fall because this is a competition. <laughs> Eva already has Eva, gonna... not exactly said that out loud to you, but her actions previously when she was like, Anne, what are you doing? Like, we're not sharing a bedroom. That is that kind of vibe of like, well, we can be friends in a competitive sense, but like, I want to win. He's so sad. Yes. Girl, you're not going home. Yes, I'm not going home. We haven't seen her perform yet, have we? Have we? Have we? Did the seat with spoon and put down the table, and now you pick up a can. Campbell, you hold the can and close your face. Oh no! I was no. like, word and words out of my mouth or something so different that I was getting so frustrated. Yeah, this Japanese, they might not get understand what you're saying. Yeah, they might not get understand what you're saying. Yeah, they might not get understand what you're saying. Yeah, they might not get understand what you're saying. Yeah, they might not get understand what you're saying. Yeah, they might not get understand what you're saying. Yeah, Bad. Oh dear, Eva versus Narelle, potential alliés. Oh, beautiful sky. Oh, they've done her roots, they've given her a toner, but I'm not sure I like the placement of the blush here. It's a little bit too strong, it needs to be a bit more soft. 
But it could also be related to a very specific type of makeup look that I perhaps haven't seen before, or they've taken inspiration from something in Japanese culture that I have not seen before. So also, although my criticism, it's still fine. The color is Japanese is very good. Oh! Because I'm so wide, I glow on my own. I'm so glad I glow on my own. Mm, that soup is good. That was an interesting edit there. Well, are we meant to believe that Amanda's like annoying everyone around her? Interesting. I wonder if at the very end we'll be like, Tara will be like, and that's why Amanda, you're going home because everybody thought you were insufferable. I'm so happy. Here we go. Oh, Hi. what's this? A debrief? I'm very happy you all did a great job. Yay. I like every letter. Read it. Get ready to meet with the judges. Oh. Only five of you will continue on in hopes of becoming America's, America's Next Top Scandal Girls. I can't believe that we have sped through this woman today, my lovelies. We are speeding through, speeding up. Already judging time, my loves, in Tokyo! I can't wait to die. I die! One of you! We'll be eliminated. Norelle has such long eyelashes. A witch. Cake. <laughs> At this point, oh, I was not beautiful. It's like eliminations and panel and competitions are so different now. Right, And yes. you have no room for me. What is this like backdrop they're now using? This like green screen? Where is that? That's so pretty. Thing. You have to stay on point. On Dog point! My Ballerina girls! Like there's no room Brush for those teeth! Oh Look like at Get in your cube! What is it? This is a businessman's traveling hotel. Good night, y'all. Good night. I'm going to sleep in the kennel. It is a bit like a kennel, isn't it? Good night. Into the kennel with you, naughty child. What is this? There's one person eliminated every single time. That one person should not be me. And if it is, I need to have a talk with the judges. Ooh. What is this little circle ball? Oh, that looks delicious. I'm so hungry. Try it. I'm so nervous. And any little thing will send you home. Anything. I, I don't know about you, but whenever I get nervous, I do not want to eat. Home. So the idea of like going to judging whilst eating, I'd be like, no, 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 no. Some weeks they might bank more on personality. Some weeks right, they might Nicole bank more on photo shoot. Has gotten a lot of airtime this episode. Does that mean that? <gasps> bon bon well, you're like, what the heck is she saying? Potentially <laughs> problematic. Combanwa, bon isn't that good evening? Combanwa, bon good evening. It's time to die! I just double checked and it is good evening. My very, very basic language interpretation skills are shining today, girls! Welcome to your first judging in Japan. Okay, you notice... and you can tell we're judging at the like vacation part of the series because the filming setup is switched round. The models are now on that side and not on this side. So, <gasps> scandalous. <laughs> We all have our shoes off. Oh, everyone's very close. Including myself. Uh. Removing your shoes when you are entering someone's home in Japan is a sign of respect. Yes, so don't, Janice, don't be like, P.A. Nice stinky. Which will bring us one step closer in determining who will become America's next top mom. Okay. Of course, as you guys everyone's know, we have top, top, some amazing close. prizes. The first is a modeling contract with the top international modeling a agency, pink camisole. Ford Models. A photo spread in Elle magazine, which will be shot by world-renowned photographer what Jill Benson. What does Ben's the backdrop home. say? And a hundred thousand dollar like contract with CoverGirl script. Cosmetics. Of course, what we have our say? judges that we have schlepped all the way from America. Honey, I don't schlep. First is Janice Dickinson. Janice is the world's first supermodel. No, nah, she's the best liar, apparently. Nigel Bisquif. No, prominent fashion editor and no, 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 no. And of course, we have a guest Did you not judge bring this week, poop -poop? Mr. Yoshi, who was your commercial director. And Mr. Yoshi does not speak any English at all, so he don't know what I'm saying at all right now. Hi, Yoshi. Yoshi has a translator, and his name is Yuichi. You will be evaluated on your commercial. A life. different translator. You shot as well. Right, as let's have a look at the that you're going Wait, to. we didn't see a photo shoot, did we? Did we see a photo shoot? Hang on. No, it was an acting class where Nicole was forgotten. To do today. The test is a commercial. The commercial is for Umeboshi. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, are you ready? None are you ready to cringe is. your spine out? It's gonna out. be a fisheye or something really nasty. And what? your first. 
Each and TM's Weeboshi is packed full of flavor, so it can't get any better. Oh no. Is that a, have they given I, them some hateful piece of food and they're like, act that you love it, girls. Put it in my mouth and swallow it. The umiboshi was absolutely disgusting. Sometimes oh, what is eating it? healthy food means eating yucky food. But not anymore with ANTM umabushi. Umabushi. What is that? I need to have a look at what that is. What is umabushi? Umabushi are pickled brined fruits common in Japan, usually salted Japanese plums. Okay. Not to my taste. I don't really like fruit very much. I'm much more of a vegetable woman. Oh, I can make some grilled courgette. ANTM umabushi. What the hell is this stuff? Like, where did they get it? It's like a pickled plum. Yes! ANTM umabushi. So the taste can't get any better. Oh dear. It tastes so sweet. You'd swear it's candy. The taste just can't get any better. Okay, so it, it, it seems like they might be lying. It can't get any better, girls. Disgraceful, mm. girls. With the taste so sweet, it could be candy. Ain't Anything pickled is not going to taste sweet. Sometimes eating healthy Except food maybe pickled means sugar. eating yucky food. I reckon Narelle's probably got a look that would do very well in commercial Japanese, like, editorial shoots. Mm. ANTM, ANTM's Amabushi is oh, disgusting, girls. Amabushi Look, see, this is why they've done it. They haven't done it to be like, how good is your acting skills? They've done it to be like, we're not telling you what it is. Just put it in your mouth and pretend you love it. And then Janice is like, <laughs> Is this real? Is it real? Yes. Unfortunately, this is how reality TV was for many, many, many years. So much great flavor. It's so sweet. It's just like eating candy. Each it's also just like telling lies. Is Secrets and lies. With flavor. With a taste so sweet. You, you can swear it's candy. Oh, oh no. ANTM umeboshi. She's very lively. Now we need you to eat the product because I've never heard of a girl having a commercial and not tasting the product. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, what's gonna happen? Wow. Mm. Sour, <laughs> strong, unpleasant. Mm. Oh dear, so wow. Yaya is being expelled. No offense, but I just couldn't eat it. Oh dear. Well, they picked this on purpose, though. They're like, oh my god, what do you mean you can't eat this disgusting piece of thing that you're not absolutely used to forever? Like, if you're not used to pieces of food, or not even told what the food is that you're eating beforehand, like, sometimes you can be eating the nicest thing, but because you don't really immediately register what it is, your brain can go, oh my god, disgust is poison! So, set up to fail. A lot of like traditional foods as well from like certain areas around the world, especially in the UK, we have like some pretty like pretty hateful traditional food. We've got things like jellied eels from where I grew up in Brighton. That is not pleasant. Not a pleasant experience to eat. We've got like pickled herring, pork faggots, like not pleasant foods to eat. So I'm not surprised that like other countries also have an equivalent experience to that. To eat the product. Right, so she has to eat it again. Wait, what? Oh no, they're just, just for effect. They're showing us what just happened. Okay. ANTM umeboshi, with a taste so sweet, you'd swear it's candy. I felt like I was gonna gag, and it was a very reactionary kind of flippant decision, like spit it out because I'm gonna throw up. Respect oh, is no. such a big thing here in Japan. Yeah. Sorry. Respect what's it is taste a huge like? thing. Like nothing I've ever tasted before. <laughs> All right, thanks, Yaya. Hmm, okay. difficult. Thank you. <laughs> All righty, so for- Food culture is a huge different thing between countries and even between like regions in countries, really. So in the UK, if you grew up in the 90s or the early 2000s, it might not be the same way now because we actually see like overeating as a problem and we sort of more understand portion control as a society. I'm not saying everybody does, I'm just saying as a society, we understand that like, you know, different types of people eat different types of food at different 
times and also different amounts of food. So when I was growing up, it was like a sin if you didn't finish everything on your plate, even if someone had served you the biggest amount of food you've ever seen on that plate. If you didn't finish it, you were rude. And I think that that comes from a very old way of approaching the world, which is not knowing when your next meal is gonna come. Obviously we had two massive world wars. The UK was involved in both of them. And for a lot of citizens of the UK, it meant that rationing happened and food scarcity was a thing. Food scarcity is not a thing now. We can get food wherever, whenever, however much we need. I mean, prices of things, that's a different story, but food is not scarce now. So this idea that you need to eat big amounts of food because you don't know where your next meal is coming from and you need to finish everything on your plate is an outdated way of viewing nutrition because unfortunately in times of great need, nutrition isn't really an ultimate consideration over actually being able to eat something. And I completely understand that. However, when you go to some places in Asia, finishing everything on your plate can be seen as like, oh, we haven't fed you enough, you're not full. Can you see how these will go head to head against each other? These two different paradigm shifts of like, oh, finish everything on your plate. But if you finish everything on your plate, you're kind of insulting the hosts because they think you haven't given you enough food. These two things are very, very different. So cultural differences are 100% a thing to think of when visiting other countries. And that's travel with Luxaria. <laughs> First we have- Eva. Right. Eva, you had a commercial. Yes. And here is your best take. At this point, no one ever knows who's going home. It could be me, it could be Amanda, it could be Yaya, it could be Banana, you never know. It could be you. Also, that's not a commercial. What commercial is looking like this? Flex selects the best from Campbell's. This is a She's Facebook video. She's a rap video. star. She's a Campbell's suit rap star. Honey, but you can't even get the English right. It's not a The we, uh, the lines, it sounds like Chinese to us. <laughs> oh dear. Eva, you had to sell imaboshi. I thought you sounded a lot better. Although, of course, once you got that stuff in your mouth, my goodness me, you... You were like... Well, let's make you all try that, and then you can give us an example of what it should look like. Fantastically, uh, visually you look beautiful. Your voice is really great for selling Prada. Yeah. All right, Eva, thanks. Okay, well, and that's a positive, I guess. She did the worst this week. She did the worst, and they still ended on well, your voice is great for selling a product. That's not the point though, is it? Your commercial right here. And? No one would ever use this commercial. It's too windy. It's not in a studio. The audio is terrible. You've just heard a wind, windy wind woman. They changed their hair as well. I think Annie, you need to learn how to hold your face a little bit more pretty. I think in some of the spots, your face was a little rough, and you are a beautiful girl. Face thing, you were doing this. For me, I thought you looked fantastic. I thought you had a lot of enthusiasm. I was impressed by the way you went for it. Nigel <laughs> is correct. Basically, she did it very well. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so they are they are finding a reason to send Anne home at this point. They are like, do you know what? Just your fa you can't do it. It's just, just your face, girl. Just go home and think about your face. That is the real thing. Snatched. At this point, it's like she aced that. Like, I haven't been the greatest fan of Anne over the last couple of episodes because she's done some problematic things, probably emboldened as well by production pushing this storyline of like, oh, Anne started high with Eva and now she's going like this, now she's back up again. Because reality TV does this to you. Even though on this Chanel, all of us here, myself and you guys included, can make quite like apt judgments about what we're seeing and we can kind of see a bit behind the magic. Reality TV still gets its hooks into you and makes you feel something. Even if that's not necessarily the way that information was delivered at first. So for Anne to do so well in that commercial against all the odds, and for them to still be like, yeah, but your face is still bad, is like picking at, I don't know, picking at a reason to send her home. But Eva, who messed up everything, still got, but at least your voice is nice to sell a product with. The ghetto, the oyster Oh dear. Oy. What are these two the little pigtails? I'm not sure I approve. Campbell's. Select the best from Campbell. Oh, she's, she's a bit... No, you're really... What's that doll? Is it Cabbage Patch? Is that what I'm thinking of? Does she look like a Cabbage Patch woman? No. No. Is it a Raggedy Ann doll? No. I forget. There's a kind of doll that has that makeup style of just like garage door eyeshadows with like low, low um, pigtails. I can't think of what the doll is though. Yeah, you're really good in English, but the Japanese, child. 
It's like you were just coming in, coming back from a nightclub. You'd been up all night, like, <laughs> you know. And you, you'd you be familiar with that, all. wouldn't you? Need you need to make, make it at least a little bit believable. You had a umaboshi commercial. Finally, you have personality. You were bubbly, radiant. You were really confident, and you had fun with it. Okay. Right, you have Amanda. What does that mean? The kara wa tashi tashi ga erobunu wa Campbell Select. Oh, for some reason, because we've got like one pixel and because her hair is so light, I also struggle with this sometimes when I just get my roots done because I like my hair to be white. I do find that I can't put my hair completely back like this because with white hair, it mixes so much with my skin tone that it makes me look like I have no hair from here and then just like a, an extension ponytail clipped to the edge of my head down here. And I feel like that is exactly what's happened here. But also, why bother shooting her outside at night? When you've lost all the backdrop, why bother? This is not as if you would, like you would never use that because you can't see the product. That light is like right the way throughout the product. You'd never use this as a as an actual commercial. You would never use this. Campbell Select. You're like, is it over? Is it over? Lord help me, please say cut. I just look like a parrot, ears on an onion. I just felt like you were just saying stuff without any Take. passion in back of it. She didn't ma make any mistakes, but she was a little bit too fast. People wouldn't understand. Okay. It was so long. It was a bit robotic. <laughs> it sounded like you were talking in Morse code. Yeah, I think you were taking pauses when there wasn't supposed to be a pause. You just looked fantastic. That camera loves you. So, yeah, yeah, you had umeboshi. Interesting. So they've moved on from the... Interesting. So they, the, they've moved on from this argument of like, yeah, yeah, you're you're brilliant, but your skin is awful, isn't it? Oh, you're scared. Oh, you are awful, but you're brilliant, but you're skin. They've moved on from that, and now they're like, the camera loves you, girl. And it's been like seven days. That is not long enough for your skin to like completely change texture. So, what's the narrative we're going for here? What is that? It loves you. So yeah, yeah, you had umeboshi. You spit out the product. That means. Oh one yes. Oh, this is the greatest to sin, swallow that product apparently. as an actress. It was completely insulting to the client, to the Japanese people. This is your one shot as a model, especially if you want to be, if you want to be a top model. You gotta just suck it up. Well, some of us open the optic knee. I got Hoover. It's bad, really bad in front of the clients Dyson. and the camera. You spit on the product. Sorry. Alrighty. So now it's time for the judges to deliver. Oh. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there you are behind Yaya. OK, come on, Nicole. I'm sorry. So you had... Fakery, fakery afoot, fakery afoot, fakery afoot. I feel like this is such a production plant, surely. They wanted Nicole to be forgettable. So they've made this happen twice in one episode? That doesn't feel correct, because surely... Someone in production, well, in fact, actually, Tyra, as an executive producer, would have seen what happened to Nicole earlier in the episode and been like, oh my gosh, we won't do that again, if that was meant to be a mistake, because you'd be mortified as a producer, being like, oops, we've fucked up on one of our contestants. This is on purpose. Therefore, Nicole has a right to be like, how f dare you? Nicole, I'm sorry. So you had a commercial. So how is she meant to be excited about being here now? You looked very confused. Uh, the product, you were slumped over. Your creamy skin looked beautiful. Your eyes, creamy. you looked great, but your delivery wasn't great. OK, you had to sell imaboshi. You look beautiful in person. Is Nicole going then? But you need to really learn more of the product that you were selling and really give it to me. It really wasn't there. It's almost like I didn't remember. What do you, what, what? You need to learn more about the product, but you've purposefully not told them what the product is because they didn't know. In fact, Nicole, in her confessional afterwards, is the only one that said it tasted like a spiced Japanese plum, which is exactly what the product is. That's naughty. Really give it to me. It really wasn't there. It's almost like I didn't remember when you finished. Not memorable. I think she's memorable. Yoshi wasn't giving it much of a direction, but however, you have to make the best of what you got. OK, thank you, Nicole. That's not criticism. Make the best of what you've got is not criticism. How can you grow from that? All right, so now it's time for the judges to deliberate. Why was Amanda the only one shot at night? And which one of you should be eliminated. Right, OK. Oh, I don't know who's going to go. Everyone did wonderful and terrible at the Noelle, same time. 
actually came through for me in the challenge today. Tyra I was really impressed with her. She really took it to the next level. She was so cute. She delivered the lines with chutzpah. Is that a word? Chutzpah. Yeah, of course. No, it was so cool. Yoke taking a nakoda to my mother. It's very charming. But she but didn't. The lines. Did it's a difficult thing. She always just gave up. Amanda. Yeah. Amanda has to get over the fact that she's gorgeous, has amazing blue eyes. Mm -hmm. She didn't seem to have any connection with the product in either commercial. Imagine saying that to anyone else. Why? Why have Amanda here if you're not? purposefully, if she wasn't purposefully chosen because of her striking looks? Why then be like, she needs to get over her striking looks. So why is she here then? Oh, infuriating. I'm all hot and bothered, girls. I want to talk to death. She looked alien-esque. Uh, to me, it didn't register commercial. I was really disappointed to see how dead she is. What do you mean dead? As an editorial model, she, she might be great. But uh, to commercial, she needed more personality. Today she was likable. I, I mean, she was likable in her, even her, her mess ups. I don't think that she pulled this face that Tyra is talking about here. Do you? This is a big shock. She to was me smiling and selling I think a product. Anne is kind of in the group of leading the pack tonight. Yeah, yes, yeah. good. Seen better faces on iodine bottles. On what? Better faces on iodine bottles. Yeah, yeah. I've seen better faces on iodine bottles. I've seen better faces on what? Yeah, yeah. I've seen better faces on iodine bottles. Is that an insult? The good part of Yaya is um, she's got great personality. Yaya looked beautiful when she was being filmed. The, the camera certainly loves her. The Yaya camera loves her. extremely you. disappointing to me today. I felt that she should never have spit the product out. Well, no oh, lay. I'm sure you're not used to spitting. <laughs> and she didn't even pull it together with that. And I feel like a little bit of it is pompous with her. Like, that tastes nasty and I wasn't going to eat it. Nicole. She is a very pretty girl, and she has an incredible kind of milky skin and it's fire. Milky, yeah. milky, cocoa okay, pops. Okay, so, uh, um, Nicole is a very beautiful girl. But, yes. Um, he want more like something expected more. Nicole is blah when it comes to okay. really connecting to a very broad audience. She's beyond I blah. So. I, think I don't think so at all. Really She's does so striking looking. Experience was just a very much a flat line. Oh. Eva. In your commercial, she was an absolute Tokyo disaster. Yes. Was, so she, she should a typhoon, go home. A baffoon. She was a cocoa puff mess. When she stands in front of us, she smolders. Typhoon. Well, Eva did the worst. Six beautiful girls stand before me. Okay, right. Who's gonna go? But I only have five photos in my hands. These photos represent the five of you that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Right. First name that Who's going to die? It's Anne. <gasps> Annabelle. OK, she did deserve it, though. She Who would have thought that Miss Stiff Anne in a picture blows all of the girls standing behind you away? Okay. Oh, well, clearly, which means an advertising career. We're still in the running Great. towards becoming America's next top model. A camisole and a denim skirt. Eva. Eva. Eva, the reason why I called your name second is because of your voice. No. People tend to forget how important just the sound and the tone of a model's voice and how important that is. Well, if you've paid attention to anything happening in this series so far, unfortunately, because this came out so long ago, I know some spoilers about this series and some spoilers about why certain people are even in this series. This is riggery, and if you know, you know. Congratulations. Rigor mortis, girl. Rigor Morris. We think you're so adorable. Oh. Even this snapshot of you, your eyes are absolutely breathtaking. But congratulations. Okay, so two people who did terribly Next name we're going to call. have been called. Amanda. <sighs> congratulations. You're still what? running towards becoming America's next top model. Yaya and Nicole both did well. Well, Yaya and Nicole, please. Yaya yeah, yeah, won the, the challenge this week. I only have one photo in my hands. Oh, and this no! This photo represents the girl that I like is still in the running them. towards becoming America's next top model. The girl's name that I do not call must immediately return to the hotel, pack your belongings. Tyra's under eye blending. Perfect. And leave. Right, who is it? Nicole, it's important for a model to be memorable. Some of the girls It's important for you, you to right remember now, your models. Might not have done a job as good as you did, but something is memorable. And okay. today the judges found it very difficult to remember anything about you that stood out. Yeah, yeah. It is important for a model 
to respect product. This is not the first week where the judges have felt that you have insulted product. Oh, top model I see. That's what it is. Humble. Fragile egos are upset. Humble and likable. Oh God, who is it? Yeah, yeah. I suggest you go to the nearest bakery in Japan and order up the biggest slice of humble pie. You're still in the running. Tyra could also do with that. Me. So could Jay Manuel. Oh, Nicole. I mean, I wanted the IR to go through, but also Nicole did not deserve this treatment. I didn't stand out, and I did my best. So. What they said, I didn't give up. Being America's Next Top Model to me was something that was so amazing. Being eliminated at this point, it's both good and bad because I got here. And um, I just, it's still not being America's Next Top Model though, so. Oh, this is actually quite sad. I actually feel a bit emotional about that just off down the street in Japan. Oh! She's got a different music as well. <gasps> it's all your fault, Kenmark! Right, and you! I've got some thoughts, my loves. Goodness me, what an episode today has been. Okay, first of all, let's talk, shall we? Tokyo, girls, Tokyo! I actually forgot that in this season they actually go to Tokyo, although it is a beautiful place, and I would love to go and visit it at some point myself. I feel like they've been quite respectful so far, though I will say them trying the uh, spiced uh, plum, pickled, spice pickled plum at the end, it seemed to me like the girls or the models were not briefed on what they were going to eat. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm gonna eat something unknown, I'm gonna have a reaction to it. I guess maybe the point is, you know, you're a model, you're an actress, you're meant to be like pretending that you love whatever it is that you have in your mouth. And I don't know if I agree with that, don't know. First of all, let's talk about the earlier um, like acting challenge, shall we? How weird was that challenge? The fact that they all had to read very complex language Without any experience with complex language, it sounded like they weren't given any like prompt or any script to like digest before having to shoot that. And I also thought the idea of the, the, the additional actor guy being like, and she's died, so I cover her. In a hospital environment, you would never have that. Never, 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 never. But I know that this is reality TV and nonsense, so there we go. Secondly, the very fact that Nicole's forgotten twice in this episode. Once you could say, you know, oh, that's a mistake. Oh, how funny, how silly, how funny and silly, 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 oh, bitch, forgot who she's talking to. But the very fact that then Tyra at the end was also like, oops, I forgot, I forgot about Nicole. That's so hurtful and so harmful. Like you have five people or six people standing in front of you. You could look at every single one of those people unhinged. I didn't think Nicole did the worst. I thought Nicole looked quite striking. She did use a slur earlier in this episode. And I must admit the slur was a part of the language back then. So take from that what you will. The very fact also that Eva did so badly throughout this entire episode, yet was no way criticized for it, just goes to show favoritism, the level of favoritism that's happening in this competition. It's not a case of whoever does the best wins. It really isn't. It's a case of, oh, we like you. So we're gonna keep you in for as long as possible, which I don't know, just seems so sketchy and counter to what this show says it is. This show says like, oh, if you wanna be the best, you're gonna be the best. And it's like, mm, that's not really the case, is it? Not really. Lastly, let's talk about Yaya. They are trying to spin this narrative that Yaya is quite pompous. And I think I explained my thoughts quite well when it came to like trying different foods that you're not used to. I do agree that none of the other girls spat it out. So perhaps Yaya could have done something with that. The fact that she didn't know what she was gonna eat also kind of makes me go a bit like, no, I, I sort of see, I sort of see the idea of being like quite unwell by suddenly putting something 
really quite flavorful and unexpected in your mouth. I sort of understand that. Well, my loves, we've seen a lot of drama in this episode. In fact, we've covered a lot in this episode and we're on episode nine, which means I think we've got three or four episodes left until we find out who is America's next top model, like 20 years ago. Hence, so my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode in the comments box below, because it's been a lot. It's been a lot, my loves. It's been a lot. And with that, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. If you'd like to join the Patreon, have a little look at the description box below where you will find a link to all the tier rewards you can get, my lovelies. Thank you guys so much for the extra support on this Chanel. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Emoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Warsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Min Min Tia, Mariah Sherman, Ms. Kiss. Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Rubix.co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Stefutech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my lovelies? I'm gonna leave it on the note of sometimes situations that you find yourself in are just rigged. No matter how well you do, someone's always gonna find fault because they've already decided something else is the truth. And in situations like that, my lovelies, all I'm gonna say is try not to take it to heart because it's not your fault. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes. Wow. Unhinged. Okay, <laughs> that's enough of that.